Hello everyone. Here I come. I lay on my bed all morning, all day, tossing and turning with discomfort and distress, sobbing and crying. Throughout the night, I thought of the only thing that could give me the much-needed respite. Holding the idol of Shiva and talking to it was what I did when I was down on low. So I tiptoed into the prayer room, nice and slow. But then what? A slap on my arm and I turned around. There was my grandma, all rage and fumes, saying, "Don't you dare do that again! You're unclean and impure." A year and a back ago, in the city of Joy, that claims to be the worshipper of the goddesses, if I may pry, a girl hopped into an auto, and the lady beside her cringed in disgust, holding a basket full of flowers, myrrh and camphor. She held her back at the next stop, and in Bengali inquired this of her, "Dear, are you on your periods? Because I am en route to the Dakshin Kali temple, and I don't want the day to get any filthier." And as if this was not enough, just a few days back, while she was hopping onto a bus, the old bus conductor held her back and made sure that a guy went first and she was second to follow. I just did the arti, you know, and um, girls. There are chances that there might be impure. Now, superstitions. Oh, you evil, ingrained superstitions! What have you done to us? What might have started ages back as a reason to take rest and not to cook during those taxing five days, as a reason to maintain hygiene and not bathe in that common village pond. as a reason to not pray when you are this full of negativity and pain you have now become a monster rearing its ugly head dried leaves sand and paper sacks rags and hay without a prop without a napkin proper don't touch this man don't touch that jar of pickle sleep on this cold floor and stay locked inside the door Don't use the word period or menstruation. Rather say you're charming or the red flowers bloom. Worship Durga, Kali, and the Kamaksha Devi, but still be wrapped up in sheets of hypocrisy. You can carry a gun, an axe, or a weapon of mass destruction, but a napkin? Oh no! Please wrap it up in a black poly bag or a ridiculous piece of paper. Hide it deep. Stash is deep inside your closets and cupboards, and never mention it to your father and brother. Enough, enough of all this shit. For it's time, it's time. Yes, it is time to say the word period out loud, because women bleed to make human kind. It's time to shush it down no longer. For it's not a crime or a mischief monger. Imagine the topic of menstruation. Not being rushed through with giggles and misinformation. Imagine buying your monthly needs with pride and aplomb, without the need of a bag, poly pay, a bag or a rotten piece of newspaper. Imagine not being stared at when a folded pad falls out of a vanity purse in office. Imagine, if you will please, the happiness of a teenager when she can share this with a father or her brother. From today, pledge. Promise and take an oath, if I may pray, that you'll stop killing your own freedom and you'll never hush it down ever, never, ever.